Teach me grappling. All right, guys, got the kids back. We're gonna show you guys a quarter Nelson in wrestling. Some people will say front three quarter. We call it front quarter or a quarter Nelson. Um, the three quarter Nelson is more like what's used when you gather the entire, you lock around the head and the arm. This is out in the front. Let me talk about it. Uh, let me get Seth here. Check it out. You get a guy in a, a position where you've sprawled. Okay, boys? Good. I've sprawled here. I want to push down on my opponent's head using my hand like this. Okay? Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my other arm. Usually his arms are going to be grabbing your legs. For the purpose of the video, I'm not going to be sprawled out on little Seth here. I'm going to reach around and then connect on my wrist. So come around here and look at this grip. Very simple grip, guys. Super easy to understand. Grab the neck. C-clamp the neck, come around, grab your own wrist. Just like this, I do not use my thumb on this grip. My, my hand, I go here and you can see the leverage. I create leverage by gripping strong. Now, old school, it's illegal nowadays. It's been illegal for 30, 40 years. We used to be able to grab the chin and then you do the same move. The problem with this is I'm twisting his head this way as I crank his shoulder this way that's gonna further create a dangerous hold. And when you do that, a, a kid could get hurt. So this is considered illegal. You cannot grab the chin, twist, and lock up the quarter Nelson like this. It's very dangerous. So we're allowed to go here. I'm gonna make the grip. I would like to mention Shamayev. Kamzat, I can't even say his name. Kamzat, Kam, did I get that right? You guys know his name? The guy who fights in the UFC? Everybody in the comment section right now is like, come on, how do you not know his name? This guy's incredible. Just the other night, he was going with um, uh, the, the, the guy from Europe. Man, it's, the comment section, please help me out because Coach Peterson doesn't know what he's talking about. Uh, the, 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 another fighter, he ends up doing a wrestling match in a cage with him. He went for a quarter Nelson. He didn't get it, but he went for it. It's pretty interesting. Here's a move. A lot of people nowadays, they, they kind of uh, look down on this technique. They think it's a low level move, but you will still see high level guys use it and uh, it can be effective, okay? So now once I grip right here, what I'm going to do is I'm gonna put my head on this side. So come around here and I want you guys to look at his, his armpit area, his rib cage. I'm pushing his head under. I wanna put my head on this side and I wanna bring his head to the mat. I'm gonna be backing up, pulling him here, cranking him. If I flip him all the way over, beautiful. I underhook the head, I bring my right hand out, far side goes underhook, lock your hands, and get him in a nice pinning combination right here, and look for the pin. Okay, look for the fall. If you're doing jujitsu, you can use it for side control. Okay, one more time. He shoots a double leg or single leg, whatever. I start sprawling, I go to his head. Obviously, I'm not gonna be sprawling on little Seth here. I'm pushing his head down, my head goes to this side. Big mistake, not necessarily a mistake, just different way of doing it. People will do it like this, like a throw. I call it like the wizard throw. If you throw the guy, you have two ways to go now. I could spin around this side and try to get the, the underhook of his head, which is called a, just turn your angle, which is called a reverse half Nelson. This, that's called reverse half Nelson. Or, get back up. I could also throw him in circle to my left. So I could literally do it more like a throw, and then circle left and hold him right here. See how I still have the same hold, and I'm looking to pin him with the hold, okay? Not commonly seen is an option for you. Instead of teaching the throw, we're gonna teach the crank, which is what we wanna do. Guys, you seeing this? Instead of just trying to throw him, I put my head here and I crank him, because some guys are tough. They may put their leg up. And then you can't just throw them. So you're gonna crank them, you're gonna pin their head down and back up in a circle, that cranks them over. Last thing I'm gonna say on this, boys, plenty of times you're gonna have a flexible kid and they're not gonna go to their back. They're gonna, they're gonna be on their back, but they're gonna stay on their knees. Flexible kids will do this. Watch, try to stay on your knees. You're gonna crank the kid all the way over. You're gonna have the reverse half Nelson and he's, Technically, in a wrestling match, in near fall criteria, he's on his back right now. But he, look, he's still on his knees. What do I do? I take my hand, grab his hip, pull, 
and then I go for that underhook. Okay? Other good ways of doing dealing with this, if you guys wanted to, if, if you wanted to get crazy nasty, you can't do this in, in wrestling, but for jujitsu, most guys wouldn't do this. Jiu-Jitsu guys would just roll over. But the point being, if a guy was here, I could bring my hand under the other arm and lock my hands right here. And now what I have is I have a reverse full Nelson, okay? So I have a full Nelson from the backside. I could be squeezing this. I could even yank his arms behind his back. It's gonna create a tap out. This is illegal in wrestling, okay? I cannot make it a reverse full Nelson. Keep it tight. This is the also reverse full Nelson. Cannot do it. If it's off on the side, there is a point where it's legally okay. We're not gonna go over that. I just went crazy. Coach Brian goes crazy sometimes. Are you guys ready? I want you guys to crank him over with a quarter Nelson. Stand up on your feet. One guy takes a shot, the other one sprawls. Jam his head down, quarter Nelson. Let's go. Come on guys, get up quick. Push his head down, lock it up. Over, it's a wizard. It's an overhook. Now put your head on the side of the wizard and start backing up. Walk in a circle, backing up, backing up, backing up. Cranking him, cranking him. Now you want to grab that hip, you can pull him. There you go. And if you want to go to headlock, you can go to headlock. So, other option, you don't always have to do it exactly the way I showed, reverse half Nelson and underhook lock. If you like headlocks, go to a headlock. If you guys don't know what a headlock is, Jiu-Jitsu, Keskatami, scarf hold. Nice, you're up, Kingston, let's do it. Right here, we got King, circling. King, 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 no, 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 King. Get his head on the mat. Pin it, no, no, pin his head like this. Put his head on the mat, now spin. Crank, 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 beautiful. Very nice, nice under her control, beautiful position. I love it, crank him over there, King, keep going. Crank him, crank him, crank him. Keep going, just keep going. There you go. Nice. Pull him over there. Oh, that's illegal. You don't have an arm. Okay, wrestling, you gotta have that underhook. Okay. Let's see yours, Jimmy. Shoot on him, King. Sprawls, push the head, push the head. Lock it up. Head on the left, head on the left. Now back up and pull, 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 pull. Yes, beautiful job. Come get that reverse half Nelson. Good, nice. Lock it up. All right, guys. Quarter Nelson. What do you guys think? It's a pretty easy move, huh? What do you guys think that Shemaya was trying? You guys even know who Shemaya is? No. Read the comment section. They're going to send you some links, uh, some highlights of Kamzat Shemaya. Okay? Guys, hope you enjoyed. Um, again, it is an effective move, and you need to teach kids this move. They need to at least know it. I don't care if at a high level, a guy is gonna defend it. There's always gonna be a guy out there who's gonna catch you when you're caught slipping, you're tired, and he's gonna crank you. And if you're not aware of this move, you're going to your back. You're gonna get hurt, okay? Or you're gonna get controlled. So you gotta know it. Quarter Nelson, boys. I wanna see some of this next week. I want you guys like catching everybody. Every time you sprawl, I want Quarter Nelson, Quarter Nelson, Quarter Nelson. Then we can work on defending it. Okay? All right, thank you guys so much. Teach me grappling, like, share, subscribe. What else do we got for them, boys? We will see you guys next time. We'll see you guys next time with more great stuff. That's right.